Hi, welcome to Freezer Meals 101. I'm Sharla. And I'm Christy. And today we are talking about skillets. Skillet meals, like how easy does it get to dump something from your freezer bag into your skillet? Can be ready in like 10, 15, 15 20, minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great for those super busy weeknights when you've got kids activities or your yep. own activities or whatever. Yep. The kids get home from school. You have like eight minutes to eat, it feels like sometimes. And what do we normally do on those days? We hit the drive through or we pick up the phone and push the buttons and they bring it to your house because we're in a rush, right? But if you have 30 minutes and you can make something healthy and available for your family that's ready to go and it's delicious and so, it's cheaper. So much cheaper. So much cheaper. And healthier. All the things. All the things. So we suggest that when you make these, you double or triple or quadruple them. Oh yeah. So that you end up with more stacked in your freezer so that you've got more for those busy weeknights. Because if you're gonna prep your ingredients, it's- Just keep prepping. Yeah. And if you're like, gonna chop one onion, chop two. Like it doesn't take that much extra time. You have your cutting board out, your knife is there. You just do the little extra, bam, you have two meals. Brown double the amount of the ground beef and then you know, you've got two or brown whatever. quadruple and it's the same amount of dishes you're creating it's barely any extra time but oh you're gonna thank yourself later <laughs> and we like we are freezer meal experts now we've been doing this a long time so we <laughs> oh, do have a lot of experience i'll put a video there to one of our mega mega sessions. Uh, yeah we don't do mega sessions all the time but you want to see how it's, the mega session works look at that video but what we do, how we tell people often, is to dip your toe into freezer meals by just doubling everything. If you doubled all of your meals for one week, you had two weeks full of meals for um, only 25% more work. If that? If that. Yeah. You will thank yourself if you double or triple or quadruple mm -hmm. any of these recipes that sound good to you. So today we're sharing like a lot of variety. There's some ground beef, there's ground chicken, there's beef strips, there's sausage, there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of variety. There's a lot going on. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with ground beef stroganoff because I love it. And it has become such a staple in our house that even though we make this every single time we do a mega meal session, I still make it in between as well because A, I almost always have the ingredients on hand and B, we just love it that much. We make it that much. So you start out with your ground beef and then you're going to add some onion and then a couple of cloves of garlic. And then this is the funny part. It says a quarter cup of sliced mushrooms and then we just hand in handfuls because, because we, <laughs> we should both really like it. Then we add in some Worcestershire sauce because it adds a little layer of flavor. A cream of mushroom soup. We don't use cream soups in a lot of our meals. There are in a few, but it's nice because it's the whole package. It's got a bit of salt and it's got some flavor layers and it gets creamy. It's nice. So there's a time and a place for cream soups and this is one of them. We're going to add sour cream, a little bit of parsley and a little bit of pepper. For the day of serving, you're going to you're gonna thaw it and then you're gonna put it in your skillet and get it nice and warm and bubbly while you're cooking some, you know, some egg noodles and making a little salad to go on the side. Right at the end, you can put another blob of sour cream in there and mix it in so it's super creamy and super rich and just eat it on your egg noodles and you will have the happiest family that has ever familyed. <laughs> can you tell I'm passionate about the ground beef stroganoff? I can. I also really like the ground beef stroganoff, so you're not wrong. I know. And we've it. had lots of our viewers tell us they like it too, so you know. It's you're not totally wrong. true. So, egg roll in a bowl. <gasps> it's Again, so I'm good. so passionate. It's so good. It's and it's so fast. Oh, yeah. And this one is one of those really like emergency meals because it's got your vegetables in there too. So, you could not serve anything else with it if you didn't want to and you could say you're covered. So in your freezer bag, you're gonna put in your browned ground sausage, 
I like to use the spicy variety. For Christie's family, we use the mild. Then you're gonna do some onion, garlic, shredded carrots, some onion powder, red pepper flakes, ginger, we like to use the squeezy tube kind, and then some soy sauce, but you wanna make sure that that's the low sodium soy sauce, otherwise this recipe is too salty. Then some sesame oil, vegetable oil, and a full bag of the coleslaw mix. Put that all in your bag, shake it around, take out all of the excess air, because air is the enemy when you're freezer cooking, it causes your freezer burn, and we want to stay away from that. Then you're gonna seal it, freeze it on the day you go to cook it, thaw it, and toss it in your skillet for seriously, five to 10 minutes. Supper can be on the table in five to 10 minutes. This is an awesome one. The tortellini sausage skillet is also an awesome one. This one is important to make in a bowl because there is so much going on here, it is hard to mix it nicely in a bag. So in our bowl, we have our Italian sausage shaped meatballs. And if you don't know how to make them, you're going to take your sausage and slice it lengthwise just through the casing so you can peel the casing off. And then you can chop it into five or six little meatball parts and roll them and you can cook them in a skillet or you can do them in the oven if you have quite a few to go and then when you have them nice and browned you let them cool and then you can begin your prep or then your prep is done and you can begin your meal making so you have your meatballs you're going to add green pepper yellow pepper and red pepper some mushrooms some onion a jar of pasta sauce whatever kind of pasta sauce you like and then the cheese tortellini. We get the big bag from Costco. It suits us well, but you can also just get it at the grocery store or if you find it in your freezer section, that will work too. For the day of cooking, you wanna let it thaw because it's pretty dense. Get it into your skillet. You wanna use a big skillet for this guy. Quarter cup of water in there, you mix it around, you let that cook up your your noodles and because they're fresh they're gonna cook up pretty fast maybe 10 or 15 minutes and bam you have a full meal that is delish the southern style ground beef casserole is kind of a favorite in our house and again it's one of these ones where it's just the one pot and you don't really need any sides with this. If you want, you could add a salad, but you don't need it because there's vegetables right in here. So you've got your ground beef. You can also substitute veggie beef if you wanna make this vegetarian. Then you can do onion, green pepper, corn. We do a can of kernel corn that's been drained, or you can use frozen corn. A can of tomato sauce. Worcestershire sauce, chili powder, salt, and pepper. And then in a medium-sized freezer bag, you're going to add some shredded Tex-Mex or cheddar cheese. You're gonna take the air out of both bags, mix up that large bag really well, and then you're gonna staple the bag of cheese above the seal onto your large bag on the day that you cook this, you're gonna dump it into your skillet when it's thawed, cook it up just, just to heat it through because your beef is already browned and everything. And then before you serve it, you're gonna to top it with that shredded cheese, let that melt and supper is good to go. So the next couple of meals that we're going to talk about, you want to know about because if you pay attention at your grocery store, like this was a fluke, this wasn't planned, we knew we wanted to do something with beef stir fry strips and I was at the store one day and I said, Charlotte, like I texted her and I'm like, Charlotte, and I'm taking pictures. <laughs> beef stir fry strips are two for one. Like we have to do these now. So she ran to the store and bought them all. Not quite them all, but she bought a lot. And we, we made beef stir fry freezer meals till the cows came home. And uh, so the next couple that I have here use the beef stir fry strips. We made a whole separate video just about the beef stir fry strips. It's right up there. Go ahead and have a look at it. This one might be a repeat in it. 
I don't yeah, have to point I think, that out. I think they're they're both in that video as well, but there's 10 recipes in that video. And some of them are crock pot recipes and some of them are skillet and I don't think there's any oven recipes in that. I think but it's all we do have a beef strip beef stroganoff yes. that I did in my oven because my crock pot was busy browning sausage. sausage. So I did it for two Go look at the video. You can figure out how to cook something slowly in your oven. I did it uh, for 300 for two hours and it was perfect. It was just right. It was really delicious. I do like the ground beef for one better. One better. With the, it's a totally different recipe. It's a totally the, different, different the recipe. One. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But if you find things that are on sale at your grocery store, freezer cooking is a great way to take full advantage of those sales. Like full advantage because you're not just getting like what you would eat that night or later that week. You can get enough so that, cause these are good for three months. And so, we're going to tell you something down below. There's a link there for the freezer meals 101 club. We have a membership club in the club. So, okay, you've had a moment of weakness where you've bought 12 packs of beef first stir fry strips and you're like, what do I do with these now? Well, if you're in our club, you can go and look at our recipes. We have almost 200 recipes and we add more every month. And there's such variety in there, but if you needed to and you wanted to, you could click beef and you could type in stir fry and bam, every recipe that we have with beef stir fry strips would be available to you and you could just pull them up and we're like, well, I just got to go get me some onions and, and some carrots and some green peppers and Bob's your uncle and you have all these meals and then you're going to eat them because if you bought all those beef stir fry strips and just threw them in your freezer saying, oh, someday freezer burn, freezer burn, a year later, you're finding old meaty freeze, <laughs> freeze dried freezer strips that you're and giving to your you neighbor for their dog, toss them into your garbage. <laughs> You can just call them good intentions. Good intentions. Good intentions. Goodbye. <laughs> so if you actually make them into the meal, you are 100% more likely to, well, okay, maybe like 85% more likely yeah, to use them. Because we've all done it where we've bought something and we find it a year later at the bottom of your freezer and you're like, oh, whoops. That was <laughs> totally. That was $15 of ammo to rain. <laughs> so, so pay attention because these beef strip freezer meals, they are really good and you could take full advantage of the sale. Here's the two for one. So the make ahead beef fajitas. Start it with your beef stir fry strips. So easy. You're going to add in your onion. You're going to add in your red and yellow peppers, a cup of salsa, some lime juice and some Worcestershire. Oh, I said it wrong. I'm going to start over. Don't make fun of me. Worcestershire sauce. That's what you're going to add. You're going to add your Worcestershire sauce. You're going to mix it all together. You're going to, Get rid of the air and then you're going to freeze them flat after you seal it. So on the day of, so what do you need when you make fajitas? You're going to need your tortillas, you're going to need your guacamole, maybe a little bit of shredded cheese or cilantro, and you're going to build the most beautiful and easy beef fajita that you've ever had in your life. The other half of that two for one beef strip sale is the Mongolian beef. Honestly, I even love this one 10 times more. That And that beef fajita, is good, but I love this Mongolian beef. So you start out with a pound and a half of your beef strips. You're going to add ginger. We do like the squeezy tube ginger because it's easy. It stays fresh in your fridge and you're not grating ginger and it's a whole thing with the ginger. So we like the squeezy tube. We add the minced garlic, some soy sauce, a little bit of water, some brown sugar and carrots cut into matchsticks and some green onions. And then for the day of cooking, you're going to want to get all that in your skillet and then add a little bit of cornstarch so you can thicken that up. And so you go ahead and you get that cooking and it really is quick. It's like five minutes, maybe 10 and you can serve it over rice and you want to sprinkle it with a few more green onions and that is so delicious and it's beautiful and it's tender and you're going to love it. A few times ago in our mega session, where we make three months of meals at a time, uh, we tried out these Thai chili chicken lettuce wraps. And you're only gonna make the filling for this on the day that you cook it up. You're gonna have to assemble it. You're gonna have to, you know, wash your lettuce leaves. And Here's a pro tip. Don't freeze your lettuce. It does not freeze well. No. Cabbage freezes great. Lettuce, not so much. Definitely do not freeze your lettuce. So 
This is such a good one. It's like so nice and fresh, very healthy. It's just like, it's just good. And it's a nice change for us. So in your large bag, you're gonna put some cooked ground chicken. This is actually, incidentally, the first freezer meal that we had ever made. Actually, it's the first meal I'd ever made with ground chicken. Mm -hmm. Definitely the first freezer meal we had ever made with ground chicken. And since then, we discovered how inexpensive ground chicken is where we live. And so we did a frugal freezer meals video and used quite a lot of ground chicken in there because <laughs> it was very inexpensive. This particular recipe is not as inexpensive because it has cashews. Yeah, it offsets it a little bit. And so if you wanted to sub out peanuts, Yep, for the you cashews, could. you could, and that would make it less expensive. In here, we've got our ground chicken in the bag, some garlic cloves, onion, your cashews, carrots, again, that are peeled and sliced into matchsticks. So when you're prepping for your Mongolian beef, you just prep double the amount. So smart. And then, you know, there you go. You've got your matchsticks or we have a store by us where you can actually you can buy, them, can't you? buy a bag where mm -hmm. they're already cut in matchsticks. So I also have a matchstick option, like a julienne option on my mandolin at home that can do them really fine. And I have a peeler that's like a julienne peeler. It's pamper oh, chef. Oh, strange. And you lay your carrot flat and you drag it across and it'll cut it down but also cut it this way so i have these long strips of ah. carrots and then i go chop 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 matchsticks ah, ah the prep queen the prep queen because um the easier i can make prep the more likely i am to do it all yay exactly <laughs> then you're gonna add some red pepper we don't have any fancy way for you to cut the red pepper <laughs> just how you cut red pepper uh, fish sauce, soy sauce, and then in a separate um, medium freezer bag, you're gonna add some Thai sweet chili sauce, lime juice, and sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. Then once you've got the air out of both of those bags, you're gonna staple them together above the seal and toss that in your freezer so that the day that you go to cook this, you thaw it, you cook it up again super fast to cook up, like 10 minutes-ish. And then you're gonna take this filling and scoop it into your lettuce leaves. And if you want, you can add steam fried noodles. You, In my opinion, you have to add the steam fried noodles because they add that crunch. They add the crunch, you need the crunch. It's and a texture. This makes this a restaurant quality meal. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And then if you want, you can also top it with some fresh cilantro. I have the beautiful herb garden. Oh, so yes. I always have fresh cilantro. I planted Often. it in my real garden and we didn't use any of it and it went to seed. But it's quite pretty and the hoverflies <laughs> like it. Well, you know, there's so many. <laughs> the aphids like it too, but did you know that hoverflies will eat aphids? No. Oh yeah. They're almost as good as ladybugs, but they show up late. Like ladybugs are early, hoverflies are late. If you want to know anything about gardening, she's your girl. I do know some stuff about gardening. <laughs> hey, she uses her cilantro and I don't. So, you know, who's really winning here? <laughs> but I have killed every houseplant I have tried to have, except have, for my herb garden, which is, is why I'm so proud of it. Like I talk too much about this thing, but I'm so proud that I haven't killed it. Actually, there's a link below. If you want to go buy one, you can buy Charlotte's It's, it's true garden. because like, but Christy has helped me like transplant, you know, some houseplants, whatever, they're all dead. Like they, I have to give her, I'm looking right over there, there is this, Pot oh, I remember that it. I'm gonna have to give back to her because it, it was a spider plant. <laughs> she killed a spider plant. She has a black thumb. I I <laughs> I killed every. I want a hoya. Like I badly. My grandma. She had doesn't hoyas. deserve a hoya. I I like and so I've tried three four times now to raise a hoya and I I cannot I cannot I kill them all and so yeah. You tell me when you're ready again and I'll give you a cutting. We'll, we'll get you a Hoya. Okay. 
someday. I'm really bad. So gardening, <laughs> yes. Gardening. I have other strengths. Gardening is not. <laughs> Do you know what else it is? You really care about your fresh cilantro. I'm only so-so on it. It doesn't taste like soap to me. Like yeah. some people it literally tastes like soap. That isn't me, but I don't love it. And so I kind of, yeah, I guess cilantro, eh, I don't care. Yeah. But, but the bees like it. <laughs> There's that. That's good. <laughs> it goes nicely with my dill and my peas. Yeah, it's all She's in there. She's a beautiful garden. So we really got off track here, which is, we do. We, and, we do. You know, it's we okay. Do. It's just, You've been here before. If, it, if it's, <laughs> this is your first time, welcome to the Charlotte and Christy show. Because <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. Freezer meals. <laughs> We know what we're doing about the freezer meals. We don't so much know what we're doing about the videos. Hey, we learned how to say Worcestershire, okay? <laughs> yes, there is that. There is that. Okay, we have these beautiful meals. We want to get them from your freezer to your skillet so you can get out the door. We can show you how easy freezer meals are by showing you how we make them, how we use them. And, you know, come and join our club. Come and join our Facebook group. It is really the best subscribe. place. Subscribe. 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 We love our subscribers. Make a comment below. We love our commenters. We have been getting a lot of video ideas lately, actually, from the comments. Mm -hmm. So if you have video ideas or things you really want to see or recipes that you love but you're not sure how to convert it into a freezer meal, please let us know. Yes. Because we do read the comments and we do care we about care. what you guys want so it's not all the Charlotte Christie show <laughs> sometimes it is anyway sometimes it's just the Christie show <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> I'm feeling myself today <laughs> we've had our caffeine today we've been we've run the gamut today we've done a lot it's so, all good <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this skillet freezer meal. See how I got back to business? One back of my strengths. <laughs> my head has not been business since, I don't know, 1994. <laughs> we're glad um, you're here. Um, we're going to put a video there to that beef strips thing because, you know, why not? Yep. Go and get your two for one. Totally. Thank you for joining us. We'll I think I've said time. that 10 times. Happy cooking. Bye.